lots of things that are recognized, but there's not really any next steps shown on a lot of, uh, a lot of items. So again, this is something that we hoped we would see and that we were disappointed not to see. However, not to be completely negative, we are pleased to see that there are the SDGs coming out of this process and also that science has, science has been given a clear role in this process. So we're hoping that the SDGs will be a way to get some uh, next steps on the table to really address some of the key issues for sustainable development. Our title is No Social Justice Without Environmental Protection. Our main feeling today is that we cannot accept again our leaders that have been democratically elected to come to a summit for nothing. I think that that is unacceptable. Uh, they have a mandate, they must negotiate, they should not leave the table. As trade unions, we never leave the table after negotiation is over. And I don't know how you feel about the labor movement, I don't know if you ever heard about trade unions before coming here, but I think that if you didn't know about us, and if you like what we did, go back home, join a union, I mean, and, and be part of the battle, because... not deliver the future we want, it does not set the world on the path that it needs to be on, it does not provide for a sustainable future for humanity. We supported our sisters from Japan who organized this demonstration, and as well as from Kazakhstan, Niger, Ukraine, and other countries where we have had already terrible accidents. And an independent um, panel of the experts in Germany uh, has just come out with information that according to them we'll have a meltdown every 10 years and not every 70 years, which was the accepted risk the industry was working with. Can you imagine? Um, the other major omission is of course women's uh, sexual and reproductive rights. This is a real, we're seeing really a rollback of women's rights. Uh, we see that even in Brazil and even in you know a lot of countries here, children do not get any sexual education in school. We see more and more teenage girls being pregnant. We see more and more you know, dangerous abortions where the girls are brought into the hospital half dead happening. All of these are issues which are essential to our survival and to equity in the world. And we are so upset, so upset, that women's sexual and reproductive rights have been taken out of the text. set the agenda of the outcome document from the beginning, yet it is governments who weaken the commitments, making the outcome document a largely repackaged aspirational document without the means of implementation assured. Just to reflect on, on the past week and the past two weeks and the past year of preparation, I think based on the demonstration that some of you may have seen yesterday, the youth are quite disappointed with the outcomes of this conference. And then in our unending vigor and enthusiasm, uh, we thought that we had a closing statement to deliver today, and we spent hours developing this 
meaningful, powerful closing statement, and then realize that we actually didn't have the space in the plenary. Um, so what I'd like to do is to share with you that closing statement now. It is addressed to the governments of the world, but uh, I hope that you give me a bit of leeway with that. I want you to imagine a generation that has been damned. Imagine children deprived of a world without war. Imagine a community where human beings are slaves to fellow beings and where disease and hunger are the order of the day. That is the future we warned you of in 92, and that future is today. If these sheets of paper are our common future, then the governments have sold our fate and subsidized our common destruction. Where was our voice, the voice of our children and grandchildren in this? How can you listen to them in the future if you have not shown the will to create the space now? We have one planet. Our being, our thinking, and our action should not be constrained by national boundaries, but by planetary ones. You have failed to liberate yourself from national and corporate self-interest and recognize our need to respect a greater, more transcendental set of boundaries. We came here to celebrate our generation. We have danced and dreamed and loved on the streets of Rio and found something to believe in. You have chosen not to celebrate with us. They were supposed to show leadership. It was not just their job to seek consensus. It was their responsibility to commit, show ambition, and to lead. They have failed. They have worked hard to close a deal. So if any of you think that this document is ambitious, action-oriented, and the document that you said you wanted, please stand up. If you are unable to stand up, then you must be unwilling to move forward. So we will move forward for you. We know this. We need intergenerational cooperation. We need innovation and creativity. We need to embrace the values of sustainability, equity, justice, and respect for human rights. We need to recognize that material resources are finite, but human potential is not. We will create strong global institutions. We will create new paradigms of wealth and prosperity. We will act as the voice for future generations, the ones that here have been so willfully ignored. We will stand united beyond borders and bridge the national interests that divide us. We will implement what they have not. We are moving forward decisively with action, and we are not deterred. Thank you.